Hi, welcome back to Kolsky Drones. Today we've got the Eosheen Lizard 105S V2. So I got this the other day from Banggood. It was on a flash deal. I think it still is. I think it was £88, reduced from £150. Um, you'll see some a brief bit of flight footage at the end recorded through the camera and also recorded from a GoPro. So the special thing about this is that it does have a built-in DVR and it plugs in there. I don't know if you can see that very well. The little the holder there for your SD card, I don't know if you see that. So that plugs into there and records directly. So to record the button on the side there, so to get it record, you press the button and it will start to record and stop the button to stop it. Nice feature, but it's probably the only one that's a nice feature on this. So I bought this, and this I got this, oh, I found it two weeks I think. So when I got it out of the box, this wasn't connected, it was just lying with a wire dangling down. So I put a bit of sticky tape on it, put it back on, and the LEDs wouldn't work. So I, on the back of here was a foam strip, I peeled the foam strip off, and the wires for the LEDs weren't soldered on. So I had to bear the wires back and solder them on. And then put, I had to hot glue it in place because it won't stick with the sticky pad because I've taken the back off so I had to hot glue that in place. Not a major deal, but if you're new to this you wouldn't want to have to do that and you certainly wouldn't maybe know how to do it. So that's number one. The second thing and the most unforgivable thing of this is these arms. Can you see? If you can see. The arms move. No matter how tight you put these bolts, these arms move. I cannot get them to tighten up. I presume this is what this brace is for here. It doesn't actually work at all. It does not hold these arms tight in place. The other thing, which I, for some reason this decided was a good idea, is to bring the battery wire outside the front of the quad. Why or why they did that, I do not know. So I need to strip this and put the battery wire so it comes out the back because it's ridiculous having it from flying wise it flies okay it's not the best thing I've ever flown it just flies okay but it really just is okay got the 95 one of these and it's just so much better the 95 so much better than this I bought this with the fly sky so I'm flying in this on the Nirvana uh, the receiver's actually okay, it's a decent receiver that you get with it, and it comes with the battery, so you get the 4S, I think it's a 550, yeah, 4S550 battery, and it's one of the 60C. The battery seems okay, it doesn't last very long, you only get a couple of minutes flight time, maybe three, but it seems okay. It's a strange looking thing, because everything's obviously on the stacks all built up, as you can see, it's very tall because they built everything up on the stack rather than because that's all the room they had. Now I don't mind that, I actually like the design. But when I've flown this, with these arms moving, I've caught the frame, I think that one's caught the frame, as you can see the props are a bit bent because this arm moved in a light crash and it just bent. You see, you've got to remember every time you, if you crash this thing, to pick it up, make sure all the arms are exactly where they should be because if not, you're going to have a problem. See, that one's really loose. And that's because of this design. And these bolts are the best thing. And why, or oh why would you put flip head, flip head screws on? They should have had Allen hex key heads or Torx drive. Because you're not going to get enough purchase on there anyway. You need, even with a decent screwdriver. Just the whole thing, the finish of the whole thing isn't great, it just hasn't been thought out properly I don't think. And it's been maybe rushed to market, and this is the V2 version, so goodness what the V2, V1 was. As I say, I've got some video footage of it coming up, so you'll see it fly. It's got all the normal stuff, it's got an OSD on, you're going to, um, so the OSD is beta fly. You don't see the OSD, I don't think, through the, the card here if I remember rightly. But you obviously get the OSD through your goggles. And all in all, I can't recommend this to anybody, to be honest, even at the money you pay for it. If, I suppose for the money it is, 
it's not that bad if you want to put a bit of time and effort into it to sort it out but I don't really know what I'm going to do to it but unless I maybe change the frame because that's probably what I'm going to end up doing putting a different frame on it it is a bit disappointing um, everything, the electronics seem fine the DVR is actually good the camera's decent the motors seem alright, everything else seems okay it's just the frame and the way it was built um, that to me is an issue but I probably will do that and I'll do a different, I'll do a video after I've swapped it into a, be into a better frame because there's a lot of frames you can get around this kind of size that'll make it better. So I'm going to leave you with the flight footage. Um, it's only short. I only had a quick flight with it just a couple of minutes ago just to get some footage up. Um, but yeah. Don't recommend this. Save your money. You can get some far better stuff than this. Uh, from, in my opinion, the King Kongs fly a lot better than this. The SPC Maker flies a lot better than this. There's a lot of stuff you can get for this kind of price range. Especially at the full price of £150. There's a lot of things bad to this out of the park. But even at this money, you can get a lot of things better for your money. So, thanks very much for watching. Have a fantastic day. Thanks for watching my channel. If you like the video, please subscribe and hit the like button and also hit that notification bell. There's plenty more good stuff coming up.